All right, quick, quick. Eric Arnold here in the barn. It's Sunday, whatever, the 19th. We're late. Um, got our ass totally kicked yesterday in college football, and nothing motivates me less to make videos than getting my ass kicked. So we're doing this one super, super late. You'll probably, it'll probably appear on your little phone like 10 minutes before kickoff at the 1 o'clock games. So we're going old school here. No editing, just straight video. Who do we like today? We've got a ham. I don't. I don't endorse these picks at all, but you want action, I'm going to give you action. Um, I'll give you the one I actually like first. We well, actually kind of like this one. Uh, we'll just write the team name there. Cincinnati Bengals. They're at Chicago. They're a two-point underdog. We actually kind of like this game. Um... I think Cincinnati's an improving team. I think Joe Burrow is a good quarterback. Uh, jury's still out on their young coach. Uh, but this gives us an opportunity to play against Andy Dalton. I have, you know, we try to seek these situations out where a team is actively hated by their own fan base and the Bears are hated by their fans with good reason. Why in the hell are you playing Andy Dalton? you got a better quarterback sitting on the bench than Justin Fields. I mean, the worst-case scenario for us in this game is that Dalton gets hurt, and then they bring Fields in, and we'd probably lose. So we're hoping Dalton stays healthy the whole game. If he does, I think the Bengals get up and cover this one because Burrow is a better quarterback than Dalton is. And so that's where we're at with that one. At home... This is one we have. We're going to go ahead with the Dolphins. A home dog there, plus a three and a half uh, over Buffalo. Um, I don't know. The Dolphins, uh, they taught us a lot. We were going to win that game last week at New England. We had New England. They were, what, three and a half point favorites. They're driving for the winning score. And they fumble, which I guess means that Tom Brady is not there anymore to deflate the football. So they fumble in a key situation, which they never used to do, and they lose. We lose. Um, I don't know. I mean, the Dolphins are developing a knack of covering and winning these tight games. Uh, they were super money last year. And I think it's still there. In other words, we're still catching value with the Dolphins. They're not that much worse than the Bills. You know, I don't know where we get off making the Bills a three and a half point favorite on the road uh, as a uh, against a divisional opponent. You know, the Bills got beat pretty easily last week. You know, they had a punt blocked. You know who has uh, punts blocked on them? Bad teams. So. You know, the Bills have some holes there. They're not this, you know, will they end up in the Super Bowl? They might, but boy, they don't look like a Super Bowl contender right now. So I think we're catching value here at home, getting three and a half with the Dolphins. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going by memory here. I have no notes. We'll go with, uh, yes, we'll go with this. All right, this is just completely not what I do normally here. The Rams at Indianapolis. The Rams are a three-and-a-half-point favorite on the road at Indianapolis. They play Tampa Bay next week. <laughs> normally, I would just reflexively take Indianapolis and just say, whoop, uh, you know, the Rams... Uh, uh, looking ahead, Indianapolis, they were 11-5 and five last year. They're catching points at home. The other team's looking ahead to a big, big game next week against the champions. I can't do it. I can't do it. In fact, I hate Indianapolis so much, I'm just going to simply take the Rams here. Um, why do I hate Indianapolis? Well, they were a good team last year, but they lost their quarterback. 
Uh, Rivers retired, and Carson Wentz is a bad quarterback. We had to be subjected to this guy for I don't know how many years here in Philadelphia. He had a stretch when he was a rookie, when he played pretty well, and after that he was bad. And we covered it up, and we made excuses, and then last year we finally had to admit the obvious. It's like, you know, this guy kind of sucks. He really isn't very good at all. Uh, He's the master of the turnover. Um, one thing that doesn't show up in the stats that often is he fumbles. He fumbles a lot. He fumbled twice last week. One didn't count, luckily for him. Um, thank God for, you know, NFL rules. The guy dives forward, lands on the ground, ball comes out. I guess according to the NFL rules, he's giving himself up. He dove. He went head first. Is that called giving yourself up? I, I guess in the safety crazed NFL, yeah, it is. Well, anyway, the ball goes squirting out because this dude just has no respect for ball security. And then he fumbles on a critical fourth and one sneak. So, you know, he, he, he makes mistakes. He gets you beat. The Rams are a premium team. You know, the Colts just got hammered by... We have, what, 12 points by the Seahawks at home last week. Uh, I, I don't see what's different here. I mean, the Rams are every bit as good as the Seahawks are, maybe better. I just don't see the difference. I mean, I expect a similar result, that the Rams will beat the uh, uh, Colts in Indianapolis by two scores. I just, that's, I just, I'm not, I don't believe that the Rams are just going to go out there and, completely be terrible and allow the Colts to stay in this game. So we're taking the Rams. I, I put in this game on here just because I, I feel almost like I have to. I think this is at four o'clock. Be careful here. I, 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 I'll tell you why it's there and then you can make your own choice, but Buccaneers playing the Rams next week. That's a big game for them. Uh, the Falcons coming off a bad loss to the Eagles. So thinking is they're going to bounce off of that. Uh, they're going to play, you know, better. Uh, it's a divisional game. So divisional games often are a little closer than maybe they seem like they're going to be. So all those things add up to 13 points. Uh, okay, we'll take the Falcons. Now, why do I hate this pick? The Falcons are bad. I watched that team last week when they played the Eagles, and I just caught a real bad vibe off that Falcon team. It's like, wow, this team does a lot of stupid stuff. They have a lot of stupid penalties. I got a I'm in over my head vibe off the new coach. He just kind of looked like, wow, things are moving fast, man. I don't know. You know, he had that real, I'm out of my depth look on his face. So, you know, but, you know, there's a lot of factors lining up in favor of the Falcons. I don't know. I, I, I'll throw it on there. I'll throw it on there. I, you know, sometimes teams surprise you. You know, if, if, if they cover, it'll be because the Buccaneers just totally took this game off. And the Falcons, you know, really manned up and played with their hair on fire. I'm kind of feeling neither of those are going to happen in week two, but we're throwing it up there. And, you know, this I, I predict this is the game most likely to lose. <laughs> if there is, you're voted, but most likely to lose. Did, did we have somebody like that in our high school? Did we do that? Most likely to lose. You know, I know we always had, uh, you know, hey, you're most likely to succeed. Uh, or, you know, but we never had voted for who's most likely to lose. We probably should have done that one. Oh, uh, let's see. And we're going to take Andy here. At 8 o'clock. See, I don't like laying these half points, but I don't know. I guess in these situations, I guess we just kind of have to do it because... You know, that's the team we want, and we think there's still value, even laying the half point. Uh, Chiefs are just, that's a real super team. I mean, uh, even with the Super Bowl loss, 
I don't think we're sometimes Super Bowl losing teams go spinning off into space with eight and eight records or what have you. Uh, the Chiefs showed me something coming. They could have just laid down and quit last week because the Browns had them. And the Chiefs came back. The Chiefs came back. I think that Raven team's got trouble. Um, they don't have much of a defense. That surprises me. The way the Raiders were able to really start getting going on them, throwing the ball up and down the field. I mean, if Derek Carr carves you up, woo! What's Patrick Mahomes going to do? So, I think the Chiefs are going to score on the Ravens. I think Lamar Jackson, without dependable running backs, he's left doing it all himself, and that's kind of tough. I mean, you got a stink bug. There we go. Uh, you got to you, you throw the ball 50 times, and then you got to run it another 15 times. That's tough. You know, he kind of... You know, flaked at the end of that Monday night game with a key fumble there. So uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and say the Chiefs just keep on rolling, that they make the Ravens 0-2. That's where we're at with that. Andy has an amazing record on the road. You know, when Andy goes on the road, he's usually ready. So that's it. That's all we got. We'll see you Monday. Eric Arnold signing off.